All right, so we've got the Evo parked up here. We've got a nice little scene with trees and there's a little river there, but we can't see it. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get the car in the middle of the frame. Then you've got this nice sunset on the back and the car headlights. Okay, so we moved to the second location. We've got a nice little rod with mountains in the back. So as you can see the car is nicely in frame here we've got it on a nice little quarter angle just so you can see the fourth the bit of the front and mainly the back of the car and i'm on the same settings as i was before all right so we're still in the second location all we've done is turn the car 180 degrees so we can get some front angle shots of it so i'm currently shooting evo and i've seen these leaves i want to try and use these to create some um, depth within the photo as you can see, it makes the photo pop a lot more. It looks a lot more better in a cleaner shot. Okay, so I've took pictures of the front end of the car. Now it's time to get some some of the basic shots, such as um, getting the wheel. Just like, because you want to include every single detail when you're shooting cars. When we were shooting in the third location, I didn't film anything because we literally got kicked out in the first five minutes. We've got the car in this really sick defined forest location with a path of leading lines down the middle. As you can see, I've already got one shot. I'm going to show you my camera settings that I used to get this. And this car looks so mental in this location. <laughs> So after the point where we got to the fourth location, I kind of forgot that I was doing videos because I'm mainly focusing the pictures. But we moved to this nice little spot and I'm going to show you all the pictures we got from here in a minute. So we arrived in the last location. We've got this nice little dirt road near some trees and this fits the rally vibe that this Evo gives off. As you can see, it is going dark, so the pictures are a lot more grainy, as you can see. But I love the outcome of what I got from this location, along with the entire shoot. And I'll put my favourite pictures up at the end. Sorry for the video being so short. Like I said, I was mainly focused on the pictures, so I didn't get any videos. But my Instagram is here, and all the pictures are on it. Feel free to go and follow me. And a big thank you to GTO Matt, whose Instagram is also on here for helping me out with this shoot.